everyone, it's m Seriously, and welcome to another Sustain the Industry manga haul. If you are new to the Sustain the Industry series, this is just a monthly video that I do showing you everything that I've purchased over the past month to show my support to the anime and manga industry, and of course I encourage everyone to do the same. So first up, I just want to apologise that this video isn't out on time again. Honestly, I probably won't be getting my Sustain the Industries out um, at the start of the month just because I usually place all my manga orders quite late in the month and obviously it takes a couple of weeks to get here and by the time they get here it's just a week or two into the next one so they probably won't be on time anymore but they're still definitely going to be coming. So this month I didn't pick up a whole lot of manga I think I only have 15 volumes which to me that's quite small but I've really been trying to limit the amount of series that I buy and just try and keep up to date with my continuing series and I don't really have, I don't want to kind of start new series at the moment just because I have plenty to read and plenty of manga to keep me busy. So just before we do get into the haul, um, there's just a couple things that I want to mention. So first up, I am planning on recording a new manga collection video very soon. Um, hopefully within the next few weeks and I just wanted to get a bit of feedback about what kind of video you want I'm interested to know if you want a long like detailed manga collection video where I go you know nearly into every series and just have like a you know a 30 40 minute long video or are you interested in just having a short quick version where I just kind of skim over the series and don't really go into much detail so yeah, I kind of want to get your feedback. I'm going to do a poll on like the cards in here. It should be up here somewhere. And if you can just like give me your feedback on which kind of manga collection video you prefer, that'd be great because I'm just not sure if I should bother doing a long version if everyone kind of just wants a short one. So yeah, if you could please um, put your opinion or vote in the poll, that'd be great. Um, just to give me that little bit of feedback. Next, I just want to mention again that I am a Book Depository affiliate, so I have my own link and if you plan on buying from Book Depository, it would be awesome if you could use that link. It's on the description of all my videos and also on my channel. So yeah, everything that I've purchased this month, um, most of my manga is from Book Depository. They have really great prices, free shipping worldwide, which is fantastic. So yeah, if you are going to buy from them, it would be really awesome if you continue using this link as it really helps support me and my channel and you know, you get great price manga too. So yeah, just a thank you to everyone who is still using it, but I thought that I'd just throw that out there again and just, yeah, it would be really awesome if you could keep using it. And lastly, I just want to do a quick shout out to Impress Abeldo who drew this fantastic picture for me um, of Juzo from Tokyo Ghoul. He is on Instagram and I highly recommend if you are on Instagram to go and check him out. His art style is fantastic and I just really wanted to appreciate the um, art that he drew for me and you can just see how awesome it looks. So yeah, definitely go check him out. I will leave a link to him in the description. If you're on Instagram, go follow him. He's got some fantastic art and a really cool guy. Alright, that does it for kind of the announcement part of the video. Let's get into the haul. Alright, so first up I got one anime DVD this month and that is Whisper of the Heart which is another Studio Ghibli movie. This is personally one of my favourite Studio Ghibli movies. I just think it's a great story um, and just a really enjoyable kind of romance and yeah I highly recommend watching this if you haven't checked it out already. So moving on to the manga, I'm just going to quickly show what I got in this month's Aki Bento and Loot anime. You can check out the complete unboxing if you want, I'll leave that um, somewhere in the video. So first up I got volume 1 of Soul Eater. Soul Eater is a manga that I don't know a whole lot about but I've seen a few people own it. You know the art style is pretty cool but I can't say that I know a lot. And this is the um, loot anime exclusive cover, it's got like kind of a nice shine to it. So yeah, got that one. And then in the Aki Bento box I got Volume 1 of Attack on Titan No Regrets with this exclusive colour that is gorgeous, I have to say. Um, it's got that really nice wrap around and it's got Erwin on the back, so bonus points there. 
and yeah I just think this is a fantastic looking cover. If you haven't heard they're releasing a full color hardcover edition of No Regrets I think in either a month or two. Um, so yeah I definitely recommend hanging out for that. It's going to be full color you know a nice hardcover for edition and it looks amazing so yeah I definitely say probably wait for that and don't pick up the single volumes um, just check out the hardcover once it's released all right next up is a series that I wanted to catch up on and that is the ancient magus bride so I picked up volume 4 volume 5 and volume 6 I believe there is a volume 7 released I just haven't picked that up this month for some reason um, but yeah uh, there's not much to say about this, I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but from what I have seen and what I've heard, it's definitely something that sounds fantastic and, you know, these covers are absolutely stunning. Some of the best covers I've seen for actually any manga, they just look amazing. So yeah, now that I've got pretty much all of the Ancient Magus Bride, I can't wait to dive into it. Alright, moving on, the next bulk of this haul is mainly continuing series. So first up I got volume 2 of Dreaming Sun, um, another manga by the creator of Orange and her art is always just gorgeous, I love it and these um, you know, releases are really nice from Seven Seas so yeah happy to have the second volume of Dreaming Sun. Moving on of course I had to pick up Haikyuu volume 14, I still can't believe that we've already got 14 volumes of Haikyuu. That is awesome. Thank you, Viz, for doing these monthly releases. Um, you know, I recommend Haikyuu every month, and I'm always going to say the same thing. A fantastic sports manga, and a, just a really overall enjoyable read. And if you haven't checked it out, please do. Haikyuu is fantastic, and yeah, everyone should give Haikyuu a, Haikyuu a chance. Moving along with sports manga, we have Kuroko's Basketball, Volume 13 and 14 in these two-in-ones by Viz with my favourite character from the series, Aomi. I love Aomi so much. Um, again, I can't say Kuroko's Basketball is better than Haikyuu, but it's still extremely enjoyable, um, especially now that Aomi has entered the series. Um, so yeah, also yeah, looking forward to getting another volume of Kuroko's Basketball. Then we have Assassination Classroom Volume 17 with a always great cover from them. Um, again, I really can't wait to get some of the later volumes, which were nearly there. Their covers are absolutely spectacular. And yes, Assassination Classroom is a really, I think, unique and enjoyable series. And yeah, just really, really loving getting these. So next up, we have the most expensive volume in this haul. Um, this is probably the reason why I didn't pick up as many volumes, mainly because this one was a bit more pricey than the rest. And that is, of course, Blade of the Immortal, Omnibus 3. And this this is thick. I don't know why it's so thick. These chapters must just be huge in these volumes. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving these spines. They are looking great on the shelf. And yeah, like I said, this one was just a little bit pricier than regular volume, so this is like a quarter of my haul just here. Um, yeah, as always, I'm going to continue picking up Blade of the Immortal. I recommend picking it up now if you want to get into it. It has gone out of print previously, and yeah, I'm not taking that chance anymore with Dark Horse, so yeah, always going to pick this up when it comes out. Next up is the last manga that I have for continuing series. This is actually the one volume that I was waiting for so I can record this haul and I had to wait for it because it needed to be in it and that is volume 14 of Tokyo Ghoul. We now have all of Tokyo Ghoul released in English and I cannot be happier. I cannot wait till we start getting some Tokyo Ghoul Re which will be October I think it is. So as you can see we've got the final volume, um, of course always a gorgeous cover, gorgeous spine and very gorgeous release from Viz. I am really glad to finally have the final volume, I've been collecting this since volume 5 and I've 
I've read up to volume 8, but then stopped just because I still couldn't get into it. I really want to get into Tokyo Ghoul and everyone said that, you know, it gets better around this time. So now that I have all the 14 volumes, which I was waiting for, I can finally start rereading it and, you know, try and get into Tokyo Ghoul a bit more. So yeah, I really cannot wait to just now binge read it and hopefully I'll be able to get into it some more because I really, really want to really enjoy Tokyo Ghoul. All right, and the final volume for this haul, like I said, guys, it's not a very big haul for me, um, but this is one that I've just really wanted to pick up for a while and I decided to just get the first volume for now. And that is volume one of Master Keaton. Um, as you all know, I'm a massive fan of Naoki Kurosawa. I know this isn't written by him, um, it's drawn by him, but I still think that he's had some kind of influence on it, so I don't care, I'm gonna pick it up. And this is probably one of the nicest releases I own now. This is just fantastic, it has the nice shiny kind of embossed cover. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see all this, but this is all also embossed. All this kind of like mapping, it looks fantastic. And yeah, the spine's gorgeous, embossing's still there. And all the back also has that nice kind of feel to it. And of course they have these slip covers and just a bunch of colour pages. So I'm really glad that Viz picked up Master Keaton because, or picked up anything by Nui Kurosawa because they really do a great job with his work, which is exactly what he deserves. Now I don't know a whole lot about Master Keaton, I've heard a little bit about it, but um, you know, I've been planning to buy it for ages and I really just wanted to pick up the first volume just to kind of like get a bit of like a test of the series. Um, so I won't be picking up any more volumes for a couple months now at least. Um, but yeah, still I'm really looking forward to having this and I'm going to read this first volume and then eventually I'm going to pick up the rest. But yeah, like I said, I just, I really wanted to have at least one volume of Naoki Rosawa's other work in my collection. So that is it for the haul guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like so I know that you enjoyed. Um, again, I always really appreciate your support. You guys are fantastic and I've really just found a new drive for YouTube. I want to keep improving, I want to keep growing and, and you know you might notice that I've actually been pumping out quite a few videos recently and I've just got so many ideas that I want to do and yeah like I said I've just really got this newfound drive which has been great you know. Um, it's just the matter of finding time to record and whenever I do find time to record you know, I will try and get a video out. But yeah, um, check out that poll. Please give me your like answer so I can start planning this um, collection video. There's going to be a lot of manga in there. I think I'm hitting close to 900 volumes, which is crazy. I think my last collection video was in February and I had around 550. So yeah, there is a lot of more manga. You know, I've got a new setup. So it should be really awesome and I really want to make this collection video as interesting and good as I can. So yeah, that is it guys. Thank you all so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.